Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I wanted to do a, maybe a girly vlog type of video, um, and for this portion of the video I wanted to do a quick little Ulta haul. I just picked up a few different things and I thought it would be fun to just go through it. I am wearing my glasses, which I don't know if I've done in a video yet or not, but yes, I... I like these glasses. They're like a clear pink um, from Warby Parker. But anyways, let's get into the haul here. So I have the box in front of me and some packing, packaging stuff. So let's get started. So I have two of the e.l.f. Skin Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizers. And these I talked about in my recent, I'm putting this right here, in my recent favorites video. I talked about these because they are, this is just a really good moisturizer. I have my one I've been using right here in the drawer and I just, I think I saw that they were on sale and they're already a pretty affordable price. I think they're $8 and I thought, ooh, maybe I should take advantage of the sale. I can't remember. Maybe it'll say. I don't even know where my receipt is. But anyways, it was pretty affordable. It was less than $8. It might have been like $6 each or something. So I stocked up. I got two. I probably didn't need to do that, but it is a really good affordable moisturizer. So I thought, why not have backup? Then I have two of the Honest Beauty makeup remover wipes. And I do use makeup erasers more so than wipes. I don't use wipes that often, but there was also a sale for these for $5 each. And I do like these when I do use wipes um, occasionally. So I thought I'd stock up just so I don't have to get them again anytime soon. And they were really, really affordable. So I bought two of the Honest Beauty little makeup remover wipes and it's in a cute little pink packaging. And then, let's see, I only have two more items. So I got the Winky Luxe Cheeky Rose Blush, and this, this is just so cute, oh my gosh. Let's take it out of the packaging. I got the, the shade Tea Time, and it is a cream blush. And Winky Lux, I've tried before their, I think I've tried their moisturizer, but not much else from them. But like, look at this packaging with the floral and everything. It is so cute. And these I've seen on the internet. They are popular because of the gorgeous packaging. It just reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast or something. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And... I, I've i heard that even when you use the product, it still stays intact, like the the um, rose part. Doesn't it remind you of Beauty and the Beast? That is so cute. Yep. And I thought Tea Time was a cute name as well. So I'm excited about this. I think it'll be so pretty for just like being on display. Like I might put it on my vanity but also I hope it's a good um, cream blush as well but I thought this was a pretty color like maybe for fall just a little bit of a darker pink so yeah this was so cute I think this was like $14 this was also on sale so that's kind of what caused me to buy it it has been on my loves list for a while but um, I finally went and grabbed it then we have, lastly, I'm really excited about this. This is the Ariana Grande's Greatest Hits little perfume set. And I really enjoy Ariana Grande perfumes. And I have a couple, I have one back there on my little perfume shelf. Um, and I figured this would be super cute just because I love mini things. So these little mini perfume bottles are really cute. But I have, of these, I've tried the, let me, let me look at the back. Of these, I've tried Thank You Next, Sweet Like Candy, and Moonlight, but Moonlight is not on here. 
so only two of these ones and I figured I've heard great things about Cloud, God is a Woman, you know I've just heard or maybe REM I can't remember but I've heard great things about these other scents that I haven't tried so I wanted to just like settle it once and for all and just um you know try out all of these different ones and then decide or see which one's my favorite so that when I do run out of these ones and of the two that I have I can know which one I want to repurchase just because I feel like I've tried three of her fragrances I went through Moonlight and I loved Moonlight but I also love these ones so I can't really tell which one I like the best and I kind of want more of my signature scent and you know where I can keep buying the same perfume over and over again it'll take me a long time to get through these and to get through the other ones I have but I just thought this was so cute I think it was like $48 and this tin that it comes in is pretty nice too you can definitely reuse that for makeup storage or something but yeah so I'm super excited I don't think they have pumps I think you just have to like kind of dab it onto yourself but Either way, I think it'll be fun. These, these two are so cute. The packaging is just really fun. It's a little hard to see because it's reflective. But anyways, I'm excited. So that was it for my Ulta haul. It's the next day or the next morning. And last night, my boyfriend and I went on a Target run like at 9 at night. And we found some super cool stuff. This is the Shivani Coffee Cold Brew with Pumpkin Spice Creamer. I've never seen this one, so we're going to try it this morning. It smells really good. It's in my Coffee and Lashes mug. And then we're also going to try these Perfect Bars, but it's the Pumpkin Pie Flavor. <laughs> Hey guys, so me and my boyfriend are about to go to a little pumpkin patch and you know I think there's a corn maze so that'll be super cute and I just wanted to share what outfit I'm wearing for the day. It is kind of fun. I will show you. Let me back up here. So uh, the shirt is from TJ Maxx. And this cardigan my mom gave me, I'm not sure exactly. She probably got it at like Marshalls or Home Goods, not Home Goods, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And um, it's like a kind of reddish corally color. And then this is like a tan color. And then the leggings I got from Target. I just love the like detailing. If I didn't have this on, it has even more. but it's like fall princessy, I hope. <laughs> and I just did my makeup a little more natural today. I'm not in love with it because I rushed, but um, the star of the show, I think, is the Thrive Cosmetics lip tint in Neely, which is a peachy coral, and I think it goes well with the cardigan, but yeah. So we just got back from the little pumpkin patch. It was actually more of a corn maze. There wasn't too many pumpkins, but it was so cute. I really should have filmed it. I'm going to get better with vlogging. I feel like I just don't carry my camera around ever, so I got to get used to it. But it was really cute. We got some cute pictures, and it was fun. Um, but yeah, now we're back. We ended up, we were at the corn maze um we went through the corn maze and got some apple hot apple cider and then it was just the perfect fall day today the leaves are changing here and it's so exciting and it wasn't too cold but it was still a little little tiny bit chilly um but yeah it was perfect and the drive was gorgeous it was like farmland area and um yeah, and then we went out for pizza, and now we're back. We're just going to kind of hang out, and the scent, I forgot to mention the scent of the day is this little 
one I showed in my haul, the Ulta haul. This one is the Ariana Grande. I think it's the Sweet Like Candy one. And I think I mentioned in that section that I just like want to find my signature scent. And I love this one, but I don't think, I don't think it's the one. It's like very fruity and super sweet and I love it, but it's just like, I, and I have this one in the full size, but once I'm done with it, I don't know if this is the one I'm going to repurchase, but it is nice and I'm definitely going to go through this little thing eventually. So that is the scent of the day. I also got these flowers from a grocery store just while I was there getting groceries and I don't know, I want to do that more. I want to get fresh flowers and just keep them around, maybe just, you know, every so often, but they don't really smell like anything, but they're really cute on my vanity here. And next, I think we are watching the Marvelous Miss, Mrs. Maisel. I really love that show. It's so good. I would totally recommend it if you haven't seen it. So we're on season four already, which is the last season or the most recent season that they came out with. Or I might read, I'm still reading this little cozy mystery here. I haven't finished it, but I'm getting there. So I might read this, or I've been writing recently. This is a journal from Amazon. How cute is this journal? It has a little perfume bottle on it. So I might write a little bit. Um, I've been writing a story, and I actually just purchased a pink typewriter from the 60s. <laughs> to type out my story or to type anything really. I think, it would, I think it would be fun. I grew up with a typewriter. My grandma had a typewriter that we would, me and my brother would and cousins would type on it and have fun creating little stories. And so anyways, I, I've kind of been looking. I love vintage stuff. And so I thought, why not add a vintage typewriter to my collection of vintage things? And so I, found one on Etsy that I really liked. It is from Czechoslovakia, <laughs> or well, it's from, it's a Czechoslovakia um, typewriter, but it's from Hungary, Budapest. And so um, it was sent all the way from there. I was like jealous of this thing. It literally went to Italy, it went to Germany, it went to Germany, Italy, and then it came to the States. And I was like, oh my gosh, this thing has seen it all. Um, but I'm really happy with it and I want to show you guys that in this vlog as well. And yeah, I'm excited to write more and then maybe once I'm done writing this in a few months, I'll type it then. But, um, me and my boyfriend have been having fun just typing like random notes and things with the new old typewriter. <laughs> It is time to reveal my new vintage typewriter. This is the little carrying case. And here it is. Pink from the 60s. And it's actually Czechoslovakian. And I got it from Hungary. the gray keys. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna test out my vintage typewriter. I wanted to show the original little pamphlets or user man manuals that it came with. How cool. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know what else I'm gonna write, but I'm excited. 
I wanted to share quick my lunch for the day. I already ate some of it, but what this is what's left. But um, it's chickpeas, a fresh avocado, and feta cheese. And I saw this recipe on Pinterest, and I don't know if you're supposed to put a dressing in there or not, but it's pretty good with without anything else, just the three ingredients. And I don't know, it's like an, a very healthy lunch. So that's what I'm having with this little sweetened black tea raspberry. Um, yeah, I'm just having my lunch watching Gilmore Girls per usual <laughs> lately. And I wanted to share this healthy lunch option. Okay, so we are at a weird angle because I wanted to kind of do a um, organize with me section of this video. So also this is a little dirty here, but this is my vanity, the bottom drawer on the left side. And I thought we could reorganize this drawer. It's just getting a little crazy. It is my blushes, bronzers, and highlights. And I wanted to include this little tin. I got this tin. Oh, there's a sticker still on it. I got this tin um, from the... Here, I'll show it. The Ariana Grande little perfume set thing here. So I want to... Let's just take all of these out and maybe put this in and organize with it. <laughs> maybe. Okay, so I took everything out, trying to get a good angle of it, and I already have this thing in here that's like the, um, almost to make things not move around in a drawer, so let's put this here, maybe, and I'm thinking maybe, let's see, okay, I'm thinking maybe blushes, in here so I have I don't know how this is gonna work I have let's do like yeah I don't know maybe I could stack them let's see we're gonna do my favorite blushes at the top some cream blushes here so it's the Tarte cream blush, the e.l.f. cream blush right there, and then I think that works. Birds, bees, maybe some of my mini blushes there. These are all highlights. Oh, we have my Thrive. Let's see. We have two blushes from the Rive Cosmetics, so let's put those here with the birth beads, maybe. Okay, it just this drawer is like such a catch-all. It had all the products everywhere, and I just kind of want it to be more. Um, organized like I know where my blushes are I know where my my bronzers are and highlights I'm putting my Thrive cream blushes here and they fit pretty well right there next we have oh I have a liquid highlight I only have one liquid highlight it's this Marc Jacobs one so we might keep that right in the cream section cream blush section and then I guess we can go with bronzers next. I have a putty, elf putty bronzer. Um, this Anastasia uh, face foundation, but I use it as a bronzer. We have these ones. Maybe I can stack. And, oh, my favorite, Marc Jacobs. Oh, I've missed a couple blushes. We have this one. I have a lot of like mini ones from um 
from let's see from Ipsy. These ones fit okay. This one doesn't fit anywhere. Maybe over here. We have this Too Faced highlight. I'm gonna put back there because I hardly use it. We have, oh, these are bronzers from The Rive. I could keep those there. And, oh wait, this is a highlight. These are bronzers. Then another bronzer I like to use. I wonder if we can kind of stack a little. Then highlights. Oh my gosh, this is a lot more organized. I know it doesn't, maybe it doesn't seem like it, but it really it is. <laughs> maybe I could stack these. Mm, I'm trying to just keep it separated. Okay, oh my gosh. This made like a world of difference. Let me just show you. So we have in this tin that came, this is a tip too, like if you get a holiday set and it comes with a nice tin, keep it because you can use it for organization. Um, and this just, I don't know, it works out pretty nicely. This is the only one that doesn't really like sit properly, but you know, whatever, I can just kind of shove those in there. And so we have cream, some cream blushes down here. Then a liquid highlight. We have a bunch of blushes kind of in different areas here. These ones, these two are like my favorite from Oprah and Milani. And the Birth Bees and the Thrive one. Then we have the cream, some cream bronzers. We have a bunch of powder bronzers here and here. And then highlights are in the back. I think this is a lot more organized than it was just all out, so I'm pretty proud.